So radical was the idea of female choice that it was more than a century before anyone tested it. Marion Petrie's experiments with peacocks were among the first. According to sexual selection theory, peacocks grow their tails because peahens pay attention to them. And peahens pay attention because only a healthy, fit, strong peacock can afford to grow one. To test that, Petrie measured the tail lengths of a captive population of peacocks. Then she charted exactly which males the females chose over an entire mating season. Her data left little doubt. To peahens, size matters. Next, Petrie tried reducing the number of eye spots in some otherwise well-endowed tails. The result was a lonely mating season for the trimmed birds. Finally, Petrie started playing matchmaker. We paired females with males with big trains and we paired females with males with small trains. And then we looked at how being paired to a male with a big train, what effect that had on the performance of, of um, the female's offspring. And what we found was, is that if you were mated to a male with a, an elaborate train, your offspring survived a lot better. Um, paternity does matter. Peacocks are a classic case of evolution operating through sexual selection. Males compete for the opportunity to mate, and females hold out for the best genes. When females choose a trait that is an honest indicator of good genes, that trait spreads throughout the population over generations. It can also become highly exaggerated. It's all a logical consequence of the differing reproductive strategies of males who have lots of sperm and females who have fewer eggs. But the goal isn't just to have offspring. The young have to survive long enough to have their own offspring. Sometimes that requires paying as much attention to behavioral traits as to physical ones. Lizzie, it's lonely as dying out there. Will you come with me? In the Hollywood classic, The Rainmaker, Catherine Hepburn struggled to choose between the sexy, quick-witted Burt Lancaster and the dependable Wendell Corey mirrors a deep biological dilemma. For some species, the chances of offspring surviving increase if a female chooses a mate who'll stick around over the one with the best genes. Evolution has favored in many of the species Stephen Emlin studies males and females who share the job of parenting. In songbirds, if a male were to be a deadbeat dad and leave and not raise the kids, the kids would die. And basically no genes would be passed to the next generation because the female alone can't do it. She needs help. But he's only going to give up philandering if he believes the chicks he's staying home to help raise are his own. The result is monogamy, a social solution to a biological dilemma. <laughs> 